It's a beautiful sunny spring day here at Knockhill Racing Circuit and Rory Skinner has popped in for a bit of a chat just ahead of his pre-season superbike test. And it's this weekend coming. Things are looking pretty good. If the weather's going to be like this at Snetterton, you're going to be a happy boy. First of all, Rory, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, Duncan. Yeah, it's nice to be back. If I can maybe take this weather down to Snetterton with me, and you too as well. Um, it'll be all right. It'll be better than last year's test. We only managed 15, day, uh, 15 laps in three days of riding. So, uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Now, we're standing on the balcony of the office just now, and we can see in the background we've got some F4 cars testing. Have you ever driven around not killing a car? I haven't driven around not killing a car. I think I've been around in my dad's van once or twice um, when I was doing something with Josh Taylor here. Um, but oh, I'd love to be around here in a car. I think it would maybe end up in tears because I'd be used to ha on two-wheel lines rather than four-wheel lines. But uh, yeah, I'd certainly like to have a go. I've seen the way Rory drives his BMW on the road. It's probably the best that you just stick to riding a, a superbike as you do on the track. But what can you tell us ahead of this year's Bennett's British Superbike Championship? What changes have FS3 done to the bike? Is there any upgrades that you can tell us about? Um, yeah, you know, the team have been working hard behind the scenes over the winter, like, like most teams has. But um, yeah, the guys at FS3 have really been really been working hard to make sure we can benefit as much as we can for this season. Um, you know, my crew chief, Matt, and uh, Lee's crew chief, Ian, they've been they've been working really hard to make sure that they can find every little upgrade and squeeze every little bit of power out of the, the ZX10RR is what they can. So yeah, I'll find out uh, that this weekend how the, how the upgrades have been and I'll, uh, I'll be sure to let you know. As you can see, the, the sun's out with Knock Hill, so... The guns are very much out on Rory, he's uh, shown the, the sponsors here, I'm still sporting a jacket because it may look warm but it's not properly warm yet, but you've been doing a lot of training at Loughborough University, uh, Kawasaki and FS3 have put you in a kind of strict fitness regime, not that you're not fit, you know, but what has that been like? Yeah, at the end, tail end of last year, Nigel put me and, me and my teammate Lee into, uh, into Loughborough University for a fitness assessment and since then in December we've been, um, we've been down there training, so... I think I've been down there maybe five, six, or even maybe even seven times for uh, for gym sessions and, and cycle sessions. And when I'm not down there, I've been in the gym at home, mountain biking in the lovely hills, and uh, also sweating out in the in the pain cave in the shed uh, on the Zwift sessions. So uh, yeah, I was down there just on Thursday, um, Thursday gone, and it was uh, it was nice to be nice to be down there for my for my uh, reassessment after the all the work over the off season and made some good improvements, which I'm I'm really happy with and. Uh, Certainly still more to come and I'll, I'll keep training. The FS3 racing Kawasaki looks stunning this year. The retro paint scheme is, is absolutely stunning. And people who follow your career, they'll probably be used to you being number 69. But there's a change for this year. New number. Or not a new number, uh, going back to another number. Yeah, it's like back to the future almost, I suppose you could say. It's back to number 11 for me this year. You know, number 11 has served me good in the past. It's, uh, I won the Aprilia Super Teens Championship, the British Talent Cup and also British Super Sport with that number. So, uh, yeah, going by what's happened in the past, it'd be nice to continue that theme. But at the end of the day, British Superbikes is very tough and uh, we've got some realistic targets for this season and I'll, uh, I'll just chip away at them. OK, so what are the realistic targets for this season that you're going to chip away at? I think, you know, going off of last year, I was towards the end of the season, once I got the Superbike a bit more figured out and I was getting more confident in the UK track, so I was kind of running inside the top 10. I think for this year, if I can be in about the top six at most of the races, I think I'd be, I'd be really happy with that. You know, I think the team, the team are giving me a great package. With, uh, if the upgrades are as good as what we say they're going to be, then uh, I think there's, uh, there's no question that we can be right up there. And uh, yeah, I'll just, uh, I'm definitely as physically fit as I've ever been. I'm as mentally strong as I've ever been. So uh, yeah, see how testing goes and we'll go from there. There was a wry smile when you mentioned the upgrades package. Let's hope that that does, uh, does work out for you. And this is where you got your first ever Superbike podium and your first ever Superbike pole as well. It was a, it was a bit of a, a round for you last year here at Knock Hill Racing Circuit. It must be a round that you, again, are looking forward to coming to in, in June. Yeah, definitely. You know, Duncan, Knock Hill is like my second home. Knock Hill is my home away from home. I've grown up here since I was like six months old. So, uh, yeah, it'd be nice to have all the fans back. And, yeah, I just love riding around this track.